My name is Alyssa Holbrook and I help people invest in commercial and residential real estate as a mindset coach and I teach also the skills of investing because you need both. So in the market that you live in, you understand the comings and goings. You know where the traffic is and you understand like where people gravitate toward and who lives in what area. And so you have a good idea of um, where what the trends would be and what would be changing because within larger markets there are also micro markets yes. and so you're able to kind of navigate and know this is a good corner to buy property on or this is an area where there's a lot of vacancy and a lot of properties that are for sale yes. and we don't want to own property there because you know we, we need more uh yes there's a lot of migration from new York people coming to uh florida california coming to florida how does that work for those people who are migrating to those certain areas which they have not been knowing but they are knowing their local environment but they are coming in and that will I will consider them they are trying to now to buy another second property or buy their first property to the place they have migrated to. How is it important yeah. for them to be a, uh, to understand the real estate investment? It's very helpful to surround yourself with people who understand and are experts in their specific field within real estate and that will set you up for success. I still want to own a piece of the pie of the American dream, but I cannot afford in my local market. Let me try to go to Florida. Let me try to go to Arizona. Let me try to go to Texas. Let me try to go to uh, Atlanta. How would they be knowing that they're making a proper investment in those markets which they've never been? What are the things they need to know before they make that decision? You are able to decide to invest in different areas for different reasons. So certain areas will have high appreciation yeah. and certain areas will have higher cash flow. Yes. And there are certain more accessible markets from a monetary standpoint. And so you need to understand the local market and how it's working. You want to understand the local laws because certain states have higher property taxes mm -hmm. or are more friendly to investors. So it's very important that um, you know what the local laws are and whether they're friendly because that can make or break a deal. You remember that uh, post which you did about the acquisition you got for like, it, there was a small house but it was like on a lot of land yes. and you wanted, can you tell us about that please? <laughs> you know, so what interests you to buy that particular property and why are you thinking about even buying more from that particular area? That property itself, we were able to find a property off market. So we were looking around and we said, everything else is developed in this area, but why is this particular property not developed? Yeah. And so we could look up who the seller was, who owned the property, and actually go knock on the door yes. to see um, if he was willing to sell. Nice. So this was an opportunity because we uh, we understood that market. It's where I grew up and where I have a lot of real estate knowledge, but it's out of state for me. So it's exactly what we were talking yeah. about. And, and so you could buy that property and then you can divide it. So you can take one piece of land and sell off one piece to one builder and another piece to another builder and keep a piece for yourself. And when you keep that piece for yourself, we made money just from the sale of the other two. But then we had an extra piece of land left over that we could build a property on mm -hmm. and we were able to cash out $220,000 cash. I would have sat next to you and I ignore you. But it was really important for me to know who you are and what do you do and how can you change my life and what other things can we do together so that we can change each other's lives. So how is it important for people? Do you encourage people to meet a lot of new strangers? But it's not just about meeting people. Yes, meet yeah. them, but also stay in contact. That's Bring them into your world and have your worlds combined to become something so much more. That is really good. I started this mission like uh, three, three. This is our third one. Yes. With the first one we had, uh, we had uh, 49 people. The second we had, we had uh, 192 people. So it is amazing how it continues to grow. I want to ask a question, please, Alicia. Yeah. Uh, what do you exactly do in real estate? People want to know. Yes. Okay, so I invest myself, yes. but I also help other people invest because once Ooh. you've done it, you want to share. Yes. And so I help people understand when we see the steps. Okay. We begin to build a game plan between yeah. them and we understand and make decisions along the way. So that's a big part of it is yeah. understanding where to find the deals, but also exactly what you're looking for so that you can save time, not looking at properties that are that's not true. important yeah. or that are not the properties that will work for you. And then, and then as we go through the process, yeah. we talk about negotiating deals. We yeah. understand that it's about finding the win-win. Oh, I yeah. want people to want to do business with me yeah. again. And so we're able to do that. And there are specific strategies that we use 
coming from a mindset of like, my money is in demand and I can help these people. I will be able to find a deal that works for both of us and that we both win. And you create more and more opportunities and we've seen that in our own life.